Hello. Today we will learn we will learn to paint rocks with the help of palette knives. So get your palette knives. Uh, okay. And we will use some paint of colors like a raw umber, burnt sienna. Okay. These are the few colors we will be using for this project. Okay. We will be using ultramarine blue, white and a tinge of orange. Okay, so first step will be drawing roughly just draw a rock. Okay, okay, then we will do the sky and then we'll start with the rocks. Okay, I'm taking this knife, some few bits of color for the sky. We'll take little of ultramarine blue and more of white. Okay, for the sky, so we'll keep the sky very simple. Okay, so just hold your knife and just blend it. Okay, just go like this from one edge to the other. Okay, we'll be using thick colors, we're not using any here okay so just try to spread the colors okay evenly okay now with I've done the sky I will take a little bit of burnt umber and we are going to do the rocks okay so burnt umber is basically dark brown in color so we are taking a smaller knife here and with the edge of the knife I am going to just spread the color like this. Okay. Keep spreading your colors and form the rock. Begin building the shape of the rocks using a mix of white, a little bit of orange and burnt sienna. And we are going to build from dark to light using a side stroke to develop the face of the rock. Assuming the sun light is falling from right, okay, so we will we'll take some paint and we will try, we will begin building. Mix a little bit of yellow later. Okay. Now, assuming that the sun is setting on the right. Okay. So, So there are areas sun is hitting the rocks. Okay. This is giving building the shape of the rocks as well. Okay. The rocks is not just plain one color. So, this is the second layer of the rocks where we have started building, giving shape to the rocks. Okay, I'm adding more depth. I have 
taken yellow ochre mixed with white okay so that there are areas where the highlights are more so we will not use white we have taken a little bit of yellow and there are certain areas that the sun is hitting more taken a little bit of blue okay and what I'm going to do here is I'll block the color within the shadow areas okay vary the value and the warmth of this color to make the shadows more lively okay now let's block in some areas an extremely important color within shadows however try not to make it too bright and garnish and keep the values close okay so this on this side of the rock let's take it this way Okay, so our shadows are done. So we'll add some blue again. Okay. Okay. Okay, now what we are going to do is always clean your knife what to mention clean it with a piece of tissue keep your knife clean at all times now use a small knife we will use the same knife now to paint the last highlights now we will not use pure white <clears throat> now we will mix a little bit of uh, orange with a little bit of blue and white and we will uh, we'll try to establish a little bit of uh, foam at the base of the rocks just assuming that okay there's it's a ski scape okay so we have taken a little bit of mixed white and 
little bit of blue just trying to create just water splashing splashing on the rocks So here's the finished look of the project where I've added some fresh white for the foam as if you know, the, the sea water is actually hitting the rocks. So this is how with the help of palette knives you can actually attempt this project and have fun. Thank you.